Hey guys, it's Jim Halterman from TV Guide Magazine, and I'm here to find out the latest scoop about Port Charles and General Hospital. I'm here with Emma Sams, who's returning to play Holly. Uh, Miss Sutton, I'm uh, Detective Falconeri with the PCPD. Do you know how you got to Port Charles? Your last known location was Monte Carlo. I honestly have no idea. I'm so excited. Nice to meet you, Emma. Very nice to meet you, too. So I, I know there were different plans in the works. You were supposed to come back two years ago. And like a lot of us, COVID kind of mixed things up there. So my most important question is, how are you doing? Well, I, I've still very much got long COVID. And I was concerned about coming back to work. And Frank um, assured me that you know they would accommodate it. And they've been incredibly kind about working around what I'm capable of. And uh, so far, fingers crossed, uh, I'm halfway through my story arc now, but we're, 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 it seems to be working. Um, so my big question is, you know, this, this will run right as we've seen Holly for the first time on the show. I'm guessing the last two years have not been a walk in the park for her as well. Can, what can you talk to about where she's been the last two years? We know she's been in captivity and that's all we really know at this point. Well, that's really all I can say. <laughs> uh, but it's been rough, obviously. Um, uh, and yes, she's been held captive. We we uh, we ended up doing a, a scene to sort of hold because the storyline was all set up for me coming back two years ago, and then the pandemic hit and lockdown, and I was unwell, and it just wasn't going to happen. So Frank and I spoke, and we did a scene from my guest room at home in my house in the Cotswolds, the UK, filmed myself <laughs> doing a little scene um, to say that I was held captive, which was so much fun. Um, so that's a big location shoot for General Hospital, I think. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> all the way to the UK. Um, and like, yeah, and like a lot of us, you had to learn how to do this yourself because we've all learned about Zoom and doing this kind of stuff. Yes, there was a certain amount of technical uh, assistance I needed from my husband, it has to be said. <laughs> and let me ask you this. I do know that you've had some scenes with some of your pals from the past, you know, Tristan Rogers and Jeannie and Vanilla Hughes. What were those first days like? Were you nervous? Were you excited? Did it feel like deja vu? What? Tell me what those days were like at first. The amazing thing is, is that it, after about 30 seconds, everyone's <laughs> back to exactly how they were <laughs> those years ago. And that's, of course, the very best thing for me, is that feeling of, of comfort, of, of being at home, of, of, of knowing people. Even some of the crew are the same. Wow. And that, that's just lovely. Now, longtime fans, and I still watch the show to this day, I know Robert went through a lot when he thought Holly was gone, that he had lost her forever. What can you say as far as their relationship when we see them together again? Can you say anything? Well, obviously, in the UK, I don't get General Hospital, so thankfully I didn't see how tortured Robert was <laughs> in my absence. Uh, so I think that's quite helpful, actually. Um, yeah. But yes, it's been obviously amazing to 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 work with Tristan again, and and it and I just hope that the audience is happy. I, I do believe they will because a lot of the writing in the show at the moment, you can tell that the writers watched the show back in the day when it was so fun and so exciting and so fast paced, um, because that's what it feels like again now. And and for me that makes it just hugely fun and and pleasing to do yeah I, I know the term super couples was big back in back in the day with luke and laura and even with robert and holly and all of that um what do you remember about those days because yes you were shooting a lot but also the fans were crazy for you guys what do you remember about those days well it's so interesting isn't it when you when you do something that suddenly gets a, a big response from from an audience because you never know what it's going to be that will will somehow they they can relate to or that they'll enjoy um, but the great thing that gloria monte used to do is gloria would watch very closely as to what was working and what wasn't and then build on that and um and i think that that's why the robert and holly uh relationship was so uh successful is because she spotted something and then yeah. and then worked with that and, and just made it so much better. Um, I wanna show you something cause I was looking in our archives just to see, I was like, I'm pretty sure you've been on the cover of TV Guide. And yes. I found this. Yes. 
that's yeah. back in the, for another show you did not general hospital but another show but it's it's like you you i'm guessing you still hear from people today that remember general hospital remember dynasty and the colbys is that like a common thing for you every day yes and and for me as as an actress that's marvelous to know that there are lots of different things that that people know me from because because sometimes i think if it's just one character then it's more difficult to uh, differentiate from yourself um, yeah. whereas because it's it's both dynasty and general hospital and then a few a few other bits and bobs too um that makes me one very lucky actress for sure okay well i cannot wait to see more of you on general hospital you guys watch general hospital every day on abc emma thank you so much for the chat it was lovely to see you lovely to see you thanks Thank you.